Hi Pisces, happy birthday. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Thank you for visiting my page. And for those of you who are new, if you like this video, please do subscribe. This is going to be a love reading for the month of March 2018 for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also Venus, if you want to check that out as well. Uh, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, just check the description box below. There are two ways to do it, and all the information is there. So, Pisces, I've already pulled your cards, and I just wanted to pull um, the a card from the Oracle deck to see what your overall energy for love is for March 2018. Okay, so you have the Worth Waiting For card. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is really, I think you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. There may be someone who's been on your mind for quite some time or vice versa. And uh, this person, either they are waiting for you or you are waiting for them. Um, but it just hasn't been or clearly during the month of March is just not the right time. So some of you may have been dealing with the King of Wands in your past, male or female. The King of Wands, this would be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. In whatever way they were significant, they truly were. It doesn't have to be fire, but this is someone who is very confident, proud. Um, they are noble. They are honest, truthful. Now, some of you, I feel like, are saying, I was dealing with a fire sign, and this person was not did not have that energy so there could be uh this this fire sign or whomever this person is could have viewed themselves this way but you may not have viewed them this way um but i feel like there may have been something about that person that there's something that caused you to not see them in that light I'm going to just pull a clarifying card to see. I've got the King of Pentacles too here. So very well could be so and the Seven of Swords. So and I'm sorry for the blur. It's, it's, it's very possible that this person um, could have been uh, someone who was above board, but they may have been very focused on work and finances and, and withdrawn emotionally from you which caused you to feel as if they were deceitful okay or that you were always wondering what they were up to maybe they were not giving you enough attention or not giving you an, enough of their time because they were they were working or they were doing something in business that you may have found out that was deceptive okay and it, it surprised you uh, or something to do with money where you may have thought that this person was altruistic but you may have found out that they were taking money or being deceitful uh, or, or stealing from you or stealing from other people so uh, somehow this energy shows up as being significant they could have taken money from you your present situation is the two of pentacles so i feel like that's an energy of trying to balance for me finances so you may be presently in march trying to figure out well now this is all you have left how are you going to make this work and it's crossed by the three of wands so you trying to be progressive in with your with your finances because I feel like this person may have taken something from something from you in the past at some point or they weren't paying something that was owed to you or they weren't giving you money that was owed to you or child support or uh, and it, it may have just shocked you in some way or they're not or they're just someone who wasn't sharing with you um, withholding funds uh, even if this is a partner that you are currently involved in, involved with, they may have been very greedy as well. And I feel like you're currently trying to figure out, you know, how are you going to do this? How, how, how are you going to get your money back from this person? Or how are you going to uh, manage with very little? I see you trying to look 
forward to be progressive as far as maybe trying to find ways to get more funds or get more more money coming in but it's a challenge it, there's it's an obstacle for you to do this so you have the ten of swords which is grounding you this is definitely some type of betrayal or someone who stabbed you in the back uh, you're still feeling the sting of it but you're coming out of it now okay because this is the end it's like there's nothing worse there's nothing more that can be done now you've literally taken every single sword that you could possibly take uh, this person it's like that's it the straw that breaks the camel's back you are now moving yourself into a better position here uh, to try to get away from this energy you've got the six of cups here in your thought process so there's a part of you Pisces that's I feel like you still want to offer your kindness for some reason um it's almost as if well you're very forgiving type of person like you do understand why people do what they do you're not not some pisces are just like forget that but there's something about you deep in your heart that you just have a very big heart and i almost feel like some of you still want to reconcile with this person uh either reconcile to get your money back um, but this is the past returning. So this is something to do with this person could possibly come be coming back to you um, in March. Or you're thinking that they could be coming back. But just be careful because the Five of Swords is here. And that's an energy of someone who's going to be abusive or take advantage of you again. So I feel like some of you want to try to reconcile to try to fix it or you know um, forgive them for what they've done but at the same time you're cautious because you know that you know the energy that they threw onto you is very negative it's very controlling it's abuse of power uh, and you know it in your head and you're absolutely finished with that you don't want anything to do with that anymore but at the same time you still have this big heart so i don't feel like you're currently thinking to yourself i'm going to take this person back so they will abuse me anymore i don't feel that i feel like it's almost like you i feel like there's a part of you that really wants to get back in touch with them and give back to them what they did to you i'm not saying you want to be revenge vengeful i'm not saying that but you want to take your power back and that's what's on your mind okay that's what's running through your thoughts um you know and you it's almost as if um there is a message that this person could return and offer their kindness but it's only in it's only in a way to abuse you again okay so or or take their power back and you could be thinking this you know it's several different messages but all all within the same uh, realm your future card is the queen of cups so i feel like that's you pisces coming into your element uh staying true to who you are uh, remaining uh remaining in your healing energy do you know what i mean like you're not I, I don't feel like you're just going to lash out or anything like that with this person if they make a return i think you're still going to stand your ground as, and follow your instincts and follow how you feel and you're going to pull your energy back away from anyone that tries to take advantage of you so you can figure out you know lesson learned so to speak or to figure out what your next move is with the nine of wands so if you're feeling now like you're struggling uh, it's completely understandable but i see you actually going within and figuring out how to handle this situation with that king of wands again that person is still in their element. 
Okay, so there's there will be a return, I feel, from a fire sign or someone who, in the description I gave you, in your near future, maybe at the end of March or further along, if they haven't already made their way back to you. But I feel like, you know, now, this time, you are, you're just going to pull back. Uh, this time now, you've truly been wounded. I mean, they really got you this time. And, uh, but they haven't beaten you. That's the thing. Uh, you're like, you've been through three or four rounds with this person. And now you're back in your corner. And, and, you, and you know you're about to go for a fifth one. Okay, so you're now you're pulling your energy back and you're thinking intuitively how you're going to handle this situation this time because you really have a fight in you in March. So you're in the position of you and your advice. You have the eight, and it's weird because all of my cards came up in the upright and I usually don't read them in the reverse, but this one I felt was important the eight of swords this is you and your your advice is to not so the eight of swords in the upright talks about being trapped feeling victimized by our own thoughts um or perhaps feeling victimized by other people and here you are now letting those swords out dropping those swords out you are not in this place anymore where anyone will take advantage of you or where you will allow someone to take advantage of your kindness um, or allow someone to expose um, sides of you that you know don't exist it's just a particular person that has been very deceitful and they've brought out the worst in you and you are just not going to allow that because that's not who you are you will continue to be um, generous and giving to other people because this is this truly is who you are you know you you're not um you care but you're not a doormat and you know that and i feel like i've said this to you before in past readings um you're going to stay absolutely in your energy but you're not going to give to those who uh make you or take advantage of you you know you're one and done even if you were two and done <laughs> Or even if you allowed yourself more than two times to have someone take advantage of you, you know, don't beat yourself up about that. It happens. You've made choices. The choices you've made, I feel, in the past um, w were the best choices you could make at the time with the information that you had. But as time has gone by, y the light becomes clearer now. You are, you are able to see now what's ahead of you, what's ahead in the distance it's it's a challenge for you because you love with all your heart but i feel like your energy is your you know you're moving forward this other person the position of them they are the, the do i have to say it this is their energy they have that devil energy they they could so the devil represents trickiness manipulations you know look at her who do you think the devil is in this picture? It's her. She's tempting. She's been, you know, uh, she's been manipulated by someone. Okay. And so you may feel as if you have become like this person because you've had to stand up and fight fire with fire, which you know it's not truly who you are but this person's energy is full of lies manipulation trickery uh, there could be drugs or alcohol uh, sexual addictions involved um, and and this person could be extremely dependent or f or makes themselves very dependent on you emotionally physically they drain you of all the good that's their intention they tempt you so you know, I think that you don't need a tarot card reading to know this about this person. I just feel like maybe just a little more confirmation. What you wanted was happiness, happy family, happy partnership, community, um, celebration, marriage, birth. If you if you haven't had children or grandchildren, this is what you had hopes for. But you fear now that you're not going to have it with this person, and rightfully so, 
as you should not because of their energy. But I see with the Four of Pentacles here in your outcome that there's difficulty in letting go. I mean, for one thing, it's not that it's it's not that you won't. I feel like it will just be it'll take time, okay, because your love for this person was true and and love takes time. The Four of Pentacles is also you holding on to your assets now. I see you not letting anything else go. You're not giving anything anymore okay of anything physical monetary that you have offered in the past i feel now you're going to truly start protecting yourself and i do feel this person is going to make a return um in march and they have the eight of pentacles so you know, they could be telling you, no, no, I'm working now. I'm working. I can pay you back. Or, you know, I've got, I've got funds. I have a job. I'm working really hard, but it's lies. Or they may have acquired a position, but they don't hold on to it. And they start depending on you again or, you know, taking advantage of you again. Um, I feel like any, any, th this five of, I'm sorry, this eight of pentacles card, represents someone who's putting in the effort, making the effort, but the only effort that the devil makes is to uh, trick you. And that's his true intention. He does not make effort towards anything true and good. It's only to take advantage. So what does the worth waiting for card have to do with your reading? And you're probably asking that. And it Actually, I'm asking that because quite honestly, why would Pisces want to wait for this to work out? Um, I, I, and so I also feel like maybe you do. Okay. Maybe you are dealing with someone who has an issue or has a problem, but maybe your love for them is so true. I feel like, so we could take it in the sense of you detaching yourself from this person no longer um, supplying for them anymore if you were dealing with maybe a narcissist or something like that no longer uh, giving supply to them uh, but there's a part of you that will wait and pray for their healing um, because that's who you are does that mean you will um, let them back no I don't think in at least let's just stick with March I don't feel like in the month of March you're going to let anyone back or any person that's been taking advantage of you person or people um, but deep down in the back of your mind or deep down in your heart you will wait uh, you will put them on the back burner and I see you moving forward with your life uh, especially if you are married to this person and there isn't a sign of divorce or anything like that I feel like you will pray and just wait for them to to let the, the spirits or God or whomever to intervene in their life okay um, but I don't see you truly taking this person back after what they've done and saying oh hey it's okay because I'm I'm such a giving person that you know I will just completely be a doormat I don't see you doing that I see you being aware and you see what's going on now and uh, you've it's almost as if Pisces you've learned some type of a lesson um, about a particular person I don't feel like you never really knew what was happening i just feel like it was a matter of seeing the truth okay i am seeing here you know this knight of wands th this is someone that just comes in and comes out of your life perhaps and uh again towards the end of the month going into april even if you deny them in march going into april they could keep trying or keep attempting to come back but you are in protective mode this time and that's great you're holding on to you know your solidarity and your your sanity you're holding on to what's right for you and what's good for you okay so Pisces that was your reading and I hope that you enjoyed it and again if you would wish to get a reading from me please check the description box below all the information is there and I hope that you all have a wonderful beautiful very happy birthday okay take care bye